I just wanted to put that out there because everyone, I think just as a mum, you like feel pressure. <sighs> She's, she's excited. Also, I have been meaning to do this for like so long. I don't think I've ever seen Victor Harbour so busy. As you can see, Tom's cactus situation has just got progressively worse. What's going on here? All I'm trying to do really is just like help people and try and be a bit more honest about things, you know? Welcome back to another behind the scenes. We're gonna try and have a productive day off today. It's Sunday and we are gonna just try and get lots of stuff done even though it's a day off. Tom is currently in the background there making poached eggs. Lexi, in the little chair there, is 10 months old today. That's yours, eggs run and slowly off the, off the <laughs> muffin. Oh, it is as well. Quickly before my egg starts flowing off the muffin, which it totally is. Yeah, Le I, we've had Lexi, she's been outside for longer than she was inside now, like officially. Mainly because pregnancy, like people say it's nine months, it's a bit longer than nine months. <laughs> it's falling off the muffin. Quick, I gotta eat my poached eggs. Charlie doesn't like the white, <laughs> so. I cut the white off, he's so good. a five star restaurant going on here. Oh no. Guests, special requests. I oh, know, I'm really bad, I don't like the white. Hey little one. <gasps> so we're gonna take a photo after we've had some breakfast of her with her little milestone card for 10 months. We did have a to-do list today. I think Lexi has eaten it. <laughs> On the to-do list, we've got to hoover the house. We just need to completely deep clean the house, clean the car, make some reels, water the plants. Lots of bits and bobs to do. I'm gonna take Lexi for a walk in about an hour, I reckon, because I still can't get her to sleep in the morning in the cot, so if I want her to have a nap, I have to take her for a walk in the pram. But that's fine, because I really enjoy just having my little walk and listening to a podcast. Oh, amazing, a little bit crispy bacon. Yum! Thank you, Aru. We should bring Lexi back over here as well, because otherwise she gets left out. Right, I just need to get all the things together. Headphones, keys, water for the bubs, water for me, and we're ready to go for a walk. Just grab my phone. I actually put on my Instagram story, Lexi's crying in the background because she's having a nappy change and she hates that at the moment. Um, I put on my Instagram story about the fact that I'm still using wire headphones and so many people were like, yeah, so am I. I kind of thought I was a bit, you know, behind the times. I guess I am a bit behind the times. I just can't afford like new headphones yet. And I do have a nice pair that I edit with, but I don't walk with them. So, wires it is. I'm currently listening to Mum's The Word podcast. Right. It's a really good one. Is Lexi ready? Yeah. 10 seconds ago, oh. you were screaming, end of the world, game over, squirming on the change table, and now, She's, she's excited. She's excited about going for a walk. Well, I say it going for a walk. I mean, obviously, she's just going for a sleep. What is this? What is this? Come on, little one. Come on, let's go. Well, if you, I love that you just dumped her down here and then left. Great. <laughs> Are we going to go in the pram? I know, you don't want to go in the pram. You do. Where have you got there? Where's your joy? Where's your bath toy? Where's that time from? What's that all about? Snoozy one. Time for sleeping. Yeah. I know. Oh, little one. Days without water Along the sun so grown We cross over borders Get where we are, and it's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. I did it all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. It's all for you. Tom did the hoovering while we were out on our walk. He's cleaned the table, ready to do a little 
film shoot for a reel. <laughs> What's she doing? Diving. Diving. <laughs> She's got mm. food in her hair. Mm. Standard. Standard. We need to give her some lunch. Mm. And we haven't done the photo shoot yet as well. We need to do her 10 month. I'm so rubbish at this. It's even though I have them pinned to the fridge. We need to do your 10 month shoot, baby girl. Yeah, 10 months. Trying to get a photo of the bubs is just ridiculous. <laughs> Little one, look at you. Mm. Now we just need to turn it round. <gasps> What'd you get there? Smiling bubs, smiling. Oh, yeah, better one. Look at you, 10 months. Yeah, go clap. Oh. Change tack. We're doing something completely different. I'm supposed to be cleaning the car up, you know. That's quite boring. So <laughs> we just saw on Facebook whilst we were having a bit of lunch that there's an artisan market on Invictus. So we thought we'd just go and check it out. See? We just thought, why not? I'll clean the car when I get back. Honestly, it's a complete mess in here. Mm. One thing I also wanted to mention in regards to doing that little photo shoot of Lexi, I wanted to say that we, what are you doing to me, Ru? I'll put in the cloth up. I just wanted to say that we don't get her dressed in cute little outfits all the time. And whenever you see like photos of people doing photos of like their bubs, they're like milestones. Don't you always, you always see the pictures of everyone in their little cute outfits, don't you Tom? Yeah. How often do we get Lexi dressed into clothes? For the photo shoots. <laughs> <laughs> for the photo shoots exactly so I just wanted to put that out there because everyone I think just as a mum you like feel pressure you're like oh why is my baby not always in this little cute outfit and it's like she's really not she's in her sleep suit most of the time it's just very rare that we put her into a little outfit and it's mainly for photos look at that haze not very clear at all is it I don't think I've ever seen Big Harbour so busy. This is hectic. I don't think I've seen this many people around for quite some time. It feels weird being in a crowd of people. Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We just popped up the bluff just to have a little bit of a look out. It's so hazy today, you can't really see much. Anyway, while I remember, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone that supported my breastfeeding story that I put up last week. I basically had an overwhelming response to that. Like people were sending me messages, so many DMs, and it turns out that, it, you know, a lot of people wanted to talk about it so yeah just thank you anyone that hit the like button or watched it all the way through engaged with it um you know and just chatted about their stories people were writing their stories on it and yeah it's just really you know really important to just be honest about these things because like i said in the video like I just wish that I had like known a bit more and if I had then maybe I wouldn't have got myself in quite such a pickle you know like even something as simple as really knowing how long it could take and that if you didn't get breastfeeding established in that first week or two weeks that it it's fine you you can still kind of work at it and still you know you can it can still happen basically what are you doing what are you doing tomorrow Nothing. 
Are you watching reels? Yeah. We need to create some reels for... We will. Then you finish mucking around on your camera when we get home. <laughs> Lexi fell asleep. She's asleep in the back. I don't know what time she actually fell asleep, so we need to just track that because um, she needs to have a decent sleep. I'm just also writing her little kind of blurb about her um, 10 month, you know, writing what she's achieved this month. And when I asked Tom, um, he was like, well, she's definitely mastered the art of spraying food across the table with her mouth. Useful, really useful. Mm. <laughs> well, you did know. That was true. Hmm. There's this crazy road we're about to come up to. What's it called again, Tom? Uh, the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper. And it's like a roller coaster and it's insane. It doesn't really work on camera properly, but oh no, it does look pretty insane. <laughs> Honestly, it's like woo! It's really hard to keep the camera steady at the bottom. <laughs> it is like a roller coaster. So the current situation is we're home. Lexi is still asleep, so I'm stuck in the car. Tom is doing some gardening. I'm just stuck. This is the reality, this is what happens. This happens a lot, I get stuck in the car. Since I need to clean the car anyway, I just got Tom to deliver me some wipes so that I can at least just clean down the kind of dashboard area that's filthy, so dusty and so gross. I just never have time to do this stuff anymore. But yeah, I figured I'd just try and get a move on with doing some of that now. We've finally finished clearing out the car. It's all hoovered and I've cleaned out all of the like center console and it's like much better it's still not amazing but you know it's much better also i have been meaning to do this for like so long it's like a little kind of baby emergency box for the car so i've got spare towels just in case this is actually the cover that goes on a trolley so so she can like sit comfortably some kitchen towel we've got a spare book just in case. I've got some um, swim nappies and some like puppy pad things just in case as well, just in case we were caught out and we suddenly wanted to go to the beach or something. Um, face masks, obviously, nappy bags, um, some just Ziploc bags, because they're always handy, like if there's an accident and you wanna put some clothes away in that. Spare wipes, obviously, and I've got a spare like soft blanket and a spare wrap, some tissues, and yeah, that's basically it. And obviously this is just a sun shield and a, a windscreen shield. So got all of that, spare loo roll, that's obviously essential. And then I'm gonna put a couple of toys in here as well. So that's just gonna go in the back and it means I've kind of got everything just in case. Oh, and one last thing that I missed, <laughs> some spare baby snacks, cause you know, you never know. Look at the absolute chaos of our, our kitchen right now. I mean, seriously, we need to just, Saw out what's going on and uh, can't really see very well. We, I've got through most of it. We just have, we needed to create a reel and I haven't watered the plants yet. <laughs> what are you doing, little one, hey? Little cutie. She goes around, Let's see if we can get, she goes around testing the fence for weaknesses. She's totally our little raptor baby. Aren't you, little one? Look at these handles that Tom brought home. Let me put it in the light here. He brought these home. These are gonna go on one of the cleavers, but look at how beautiful this wood is. It's absolutely insane. Look at the detail in that. It's really nice, isn't it? Real? What are we doing, Tommy Roo? Well... We need to create the real, don't we? Hoovered. I know. <laughs> Why don't you water your plants? I will, that'll take two seconds. Um, let's at least try and do one reel. Let's set it up here. I mean, you've got it already sorted, haven't you? We just need to move that out of the way. And then you've got one of each of the products. So I'm gonna see if we can create something. I just tried to water one of the house plants and Tom was like, the soil is just rotted away. So oh, it's good, it's composted away. Stuck in there, oh well. Poor Emmental. I named it Emmental because it's like, Swiss cheese, you know, they like yeah, holes. He's got again. He's got he's got super long. Look at that! It's ridiculous. Absolutely.
absolutely ridiculous. As you can see, Tom's cactus situation has just got progressively worse. Because, <laughs> look at these, Lexi's obviously not happy we left the room. Um, yes, look at that. What's all this, Tom? There's like baby ones over here. What's going on here? You really have got a serious cactus problem. She gets very upset if she can't see us. She's like, wah! Oh, baby girl, little one. I just finished making the reel. I think I'm just gonna have to film it because I have no idea if you can actually just like export it and drop it in. I'm not really sure. Tom just delivered a burrata starter. <laughs> burrata and, are they tomatoes from the garden? Yeah. Oh my goodness, and basil from the garden. So delicious. Are you feeding the baby burrata? Hmm. <laughs> what do you reckon? Do what you reckon, little bubs? Do you reckon it's alright? Yeah. It's yeah. alright, is it? A little bit of heaven. So delicious. Mm. It's like, what is going on there? I nearly ate that whole tube though. I think she wants dessert. Definitely. How's your pizza? Oh, I better check. Wow. Well, that's Tom's pizza. It's not looking too bad, eh? Oh, gonna steam up. Let's get in there. Food on her face. You got fluff on her face. You got fluff on your face. She loves that camera, look at her. Yeah. Mm. 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 Attack! Help! Baby, attack! Help! <laughs> oh, jeez! Every time she does that, look at. I go out like this sometimes, and I just don't even realise that she's just pulled my hair out. <laughs> she's not. <nightmare. laughs> Honestly. Just the cutest little thing. She needs to have a bath, doesn't she? Needs bath time soon, Baba. Guys, I need your help. Can you please let me know what you would like to see more of? Because I love doing, obviously, these behind the scenes videos, but I also love doing the mum content stuff. All I'm trying to do really is just like help people and try and be a bit more honest about things, you know? Because we can't all just have this wonderful Instagram amazingness. <laughs> So yeah, can you uh, let me know in the comments what you would like to see more of because it would really really help me and also like with the channel kind of Changing so much, you know from epic adventure Travel stuff over to much more kind of lifestyle I just want to know who my audience is now because I don't really know I don't really know you guys so tell me please <laughs> And uh, obviously you're gonna want to see more of this little one. We are off to the UK in like what a month and a half? No, two months. Month and a half. Mm, a month and a half. Mm, I'm so excited. <laughs> so that's gonna be a massive <laughs> travel adventure. <laughs> but anyway. Mm, yeah, I know. Headbutt. Headbutt. <laughs> reach for the hair. <laughs> then pull the hair. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Please make sure you are subscribed and hit the like button. It really, really helps the channel out. It's completely free to do. So please just do me a favor and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. What's going on here? <laughs> What's going on there then? What's going on there? <laughs>